So finally, we have our anaconda. And this was probably always gonna be our best chance of finding one, was just pure luck. The guys were out on the road and they saw this wonderful female at the waterside and that's really what we were hoping to find. It's a good size. I'm guessing that it's probably two and a half meters in length, possibly even actually getting on for three meters in length. And an animal of this size can certainly take down the largest birds that you'll find around here at the waterside. It might even take on a baby capybara. Despite the fact that the head is so small, it can swell to take in very decent sized prey. And look at the length of it. It is really a mighty animal and incredibly strong. But even this one here is a baby compared to the true monster anacondas. The largest ones that have ever been found are for sure seven meters, possibly even as much as nine meters, which is as long as a bus. And an animal like that is capable of eating a fully grown capybara, even a deer. It's a great swimmer. It moves with incredible ease through the water with a beautiful serpentine motion. And also, all of these wonderful colors give it perfect camouflage down there in the vegetation from its prey and also from potential predators too. Right, okay, I'd quite like to show you the teeth. And to do that, I need to get control of the head. Okay. Now, looking into the mouth of an anaconda, you can see those incredibly sharp pointed teeth. They're covered up by a layer of skin. There's two rows on the upper jaw and one on the lower jaw. And because they're so sharp, once they've hooked into prey, there is simply no way a prey animal is going to escape and it can be funneled down into that throat. It takes a firm grip to restrain an anaconda, but these snakes are tough enough to constrict crocodiles to death. So this isn't gonna hurt the snake one little bit. <laughs> I'm kind of being wound at the moment into a serpent straitjacket. The anaconda was doubtless crossing the road to head to a better hunting pond. So that's where I release it. This is its true environment. This is the place where this animal absolutely rules. Before I put it back though, I just have to say that the green anaconda, perhaps the most iconic legendary snake in the whole world, the heaviest, largest bodied and strongest of all snakes, definitely going on my list.